Hi everyone, it's Jill Foster here for Penny Black, and I am so excited to be sharing with you our newest collection, Cherished 2023, full of lots of new stamps, dies, and this video is full of card ideas. So let's start off by taking a look at the new sentiments that are a part of this collection. You may want to hit pause if you want to look at these closer, and everything will be linked for you down in the YouTube description box below. The first is 30-953 Blessings, and I decided to feature this stamp set with a set of bookmarks and so these are just one layer and each one has a sentiment from this set you also are getting a peek at some of the new flowers and birds that are part of this collection and if you keep watching I know this video is a little bit longer than usual I'll give you more card ideas and a closer look at all of these stamps that were used as well it was really fun just to work on a different size and work on these bookmarks. I think they'd make a really fun set to give to friends. Um, if you're in any kind of book club or Bible studies, you could definitely have something fun to share. Or if you're good friends with a reader, you could just give them like a whole set of these coordinating bookmarks. These two feature our bookmark die as well. So if you're looking to give it a little shape, you can do that as well. So our next new sentiment stamp set is 30-955 Delightful Day. This is um, a sentiment set that can be used for lots of different occasions, but there's quite a few birthday sentiments in there. So I find it's really nice to have birthday cards on hand, and this has lots of sentiments you can use for that. And then we have 30-954 Doubles Our Joy. A lot of really wonderful thinking of you and friendship stamps in there. And you will be seeing these sentiment sets used throughout the cards in this video as well. So next let's take a look at our newest creative dies. The first is one I've used on lots and lots of cards. This is 51-763 Delicate Daisies. You get three different daisy flowers. This is a really easy, simple die to use, but you can, it can have quite an impact on a card, as you can see here. It is the main focal element. On this card, I've cut them from watercolor paper and painted them using Distress Reinkers used as watercolors. But I also wanted to show you a card sample. If you're not into painting, if that's not your thing, Thing, or you just want something different here I've cut them from craft cardstock and just added just a touch of marker coloring to a couple areas to darken them up this is another new one 51-764 burst of blooms just a happy die I love these dies like this you can use them as a focal point you can cut the flowers off to embellish I've shown you a couple of cards here where I've painted the die and one here where I've done it in more of a neutral color scheme so lots and lots of different techniques that you can use with this and if you stay tuned here you'll see these dies and lots more cards as well now this for me is a must have. This is 51-765 Boots and I love it because you can use it as like the focal point here on this card with just a couple of flowers embellishing it. But you can also use it with your other floral dies and put those flowers, there's a little slit, you can tuck them inside of the boots and I just think that is such a fun springtime card. So there I've tucked in the daisies and on this card the burst of blooms right into those boots. Another one that's a must have for me because it can work with new floral dyes or dyes in your stash is 51-766 watering can. So again here's a very simple card with it with just a touch of the flowers embellishing it. But then you can go into your stash like I've done here. I've pulled out one of my favorite penny black dyes and you can add it inside like it's coming out of that watering can. There is a little slit there where you can just easily tuck your dyes inside of the watering can if you want to. So just very, very versatile. Also, it comes with the flowers and the leaves, and you can use them with the watering can die or like on their own here to embellish any style of card that you're doing. So back to another floral die, 51-769 Finesse. I think this is just um, the lines and the curves on this die are so, so elegant. Here again is a card where I've painted it and then a more simple card where I have used craft card stock and just kept things very, very simple and pretty neutral, just a totally different look. And then finally, for our floral dies, we also have 51-768 Floral Twirl. 
and here is a look at that on a couple of cards. Now if you're looking at these cards and you're wanting to know all of the products used on a specific card, I will put a link to our blog post and within the, that blog post every one of these cards will be posted and underneath it will be a listing of all of the Penny Black supplies to use and those will be linked to our online store. So be sure to check that out if you want to see them within a blog post or with links to other products. Now here is another fave for me, immense hug. If you've been loving our large word dies, we have another one for you. This is hug. This is on a standard size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And right inside of that you is the perfect place if you want to tuck in critters, florals, embellishments, sentiments. You can do so many things with it. So here is another card. I've put in a floral piece inside of there. You can also do your critters in there. So lots of options and if you keep watching you'll see more cards with that hug die as we go. Now we also have some beautiful brush stroke stamps. If you aren't familiar with our brush stroke stamps, these stamps are designed that you put your color directly onto the stamp, kind of a silhouette style stamp, so that once you've stamped, it looks like you've hand painted that image, as opposed to an outline stamp that's stamped and then colored in. It's a really fun way to get a no line watercolor look onto your cards and they are just gorgeous. So the first one here is 40-887 Cherished. This is a great one if you're new to brush stroke stamps as well because there's lots of space between the flowers and the leaves and it's just bold and has a really nice impact. So here I've stamped it and inked up my stamp and then misted it with water and on the second card sample I've just used the ink pads without any water or water coloring. So just a look at a couple of different options you can do with each of these. This is 40-889 Radiance. I just love this collection of flowers, how they're all part of one stamp. So here is another where I've colored directly onto my stamp and misted it and then stamped it. And here it is where I've just used ink pads on that stamp and not any water at all. So lots of options depending on what your favorite style is or if you want to mix it up. This is 40-902 Lovely. Get another one of those beautiful florals. And here are two card samples. Now on these card samples with the brush strokes, the first ones I've done with water are a standard A2 size card. And the second ones I've shown you where I have just used the ink pads, these are a five by seven card. So just to give you an idea of the size. Finally, I put this one in here under brush strokes because it is that solid silhouette style. It also could be kind of some scenic stamping, but three gorgeous trees in this set called Canopy. Look at that. I think these are so great for masculine cards, scene building, which more scene stamps coming up. Also great for autumn. I snuck this one in here because I love when a stamp can be used throughout the year. And I love these stamps for like very subtle background stamping. So here I inked up the stamp and misted it with water and stamped it in the background, sort of tone on tone behind my butterflies, just to give the card that extra finishing touch. So I mentioned scenic stamping with this stamp, the canopy stamp, but we have more scenic stamping stamps. And what I love about these is there's lots and lots of green, so it can get you that springtime feeling. This one also is very unique. This is 40-891 window. It's in that brushstroke solid style. And there's so many things you can do with this. I chose to do a couple of cards where I stamped it, one layer, and did some watercoloring and painting and then layered floral dyes over the top to give it that extra dimension like they're growing in front of sort of this cottage window. And it was so fun to dig through my stash of floral dyes, sort of change the orientation of the dyes over the window. Fun to play around with the colors of those shutters. Just lots and lots of creative, creative um, opportunities with this stamp. For scenic stamping, we also have this really charming sort of country scene. This is 40-892 Welcome Home. I've done sort of a springtime summerish look with this. This also I think would be really beautiful for autumn. You could give the areas that are green an autumn look to them. Same with this stamp. This is 40-895 Shaded View. 
And I love that everything in the composition on this is done for you. The bench, the tree, the mountains in the distance, the water, everything is right there for you in one stamp. Now, it's time for flowers, flowers, and more flowers. And I don't know about you, but this time of year, I need like an infusion of flowers. So this release has everything you could need for flowers. The first set is Charisma and Charisma Cutout. And again, I love that this has the matching dies, so you can easily pop these up and layer them onto your cards. And I have done that here. Three very simple cards, but because of the, that exact match die, it gives you lots of options. And so I kind of followed a sketch for these first two and popped up the vases on there and a sentiment down below. The die cutting in the background from gold cardstock just adds a little something extra. And then this one was so fun. This is our window die and the window curtains. All of that are our dies. And I just popped up that bouquet like it's sitting there in front of the window. This is a miniature transparent set, 30-968 Exuberance really playful beautiful stamp there here you see it on the bookmark and at the end of the video you'll see it again on another full-sized card this also is 30-962 soft stems these are really beautiful colored in or make a nice tone on tone background very subtle I also think they'd be beautiful like embossed in gold I haven't had time to get to that yet but it was on my mind when I had them Next up is 30-965, a miniature transparent set. This is Spring Emerges, pure springtime on this stamp. I just love it. It's got your daffodils, your tulips, just absolute total springtime. Now we have some gorgeous cling florals. This is 40-881, prized, and this rose is such a joy to color. The openness of those petals is just, oh, it's so beautiful and really fun to color as I've done uh, painted it in on this card using distress reinkers used as watercolors. Here is another 40-897 expressive. I have two cards to show you with it here and then at the end of the video I'll have another a third card with this so I kept reaching for this one over and over and over again. So more um, detailed painted one and then a very very simply painted one and nearly one layer card. So these stamps like this one here, Enchantment, the illustrations are so high quality, so beautiful that you can do a very simple card like this and it works. It's so beautiful just with that image shining on its own with simple, simple coloring. Now you might recognize this one, Chirping, from one of the bookmarks at the beginning of the video. I also wanted to show it to you on a standard size card. Very simple watercoloring. I embellished with a few of the flowers from that watering can set just for some extra dimension. Here is 40-883 Sunlit. This is another one that was on those bookmarks at the beginning of the video. And here it is on just a very simple card, simply watercolored, but very, very beautiful springtime look. This one is really fun, 40-882 Happy Mail. I love that the composition is all ready to go and you can just stamp it on your card and have fun coloring it in. It's here on this card, it was on a bookmark, and I'll, you'll see this one show up again near the end of the video again. This is 40-898 Sweetly, also another one that was on the bookmarks at the beginning, and I wanted to show it to you here on a card as well. Now if you love butterflies, we have not forgotten them amidst the flowers. This is 40-886 Winged Wreath. And I just did very simple watercoloring on this, but all those little butterflies are just so charming to me, kind of the way they curl around loosely around that wreath. And again, the composition is done for you. It's all right there in that one stamp. Plenty of room in the center to add a sentiment or a die cut. Now we haven't forgotten the cute critters, of course. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we have for you. We have 30-960 Fur and Flutters. 
I think these are so, so sweet. I love seeing the teddy bears with flowers. And I followed kind of a card sketch with a couple of these sets. So you'll see these next four cards feature a card sketch with that circle. That's our circle die and our stamps in the background. A really fun way to um, get a chance to use lots and lots of critters is just following a sketch and then um, creating the cards and adding the critters into that open circle. Here's another set. This is 30-959 Books and Balloons. And I love with these teddy bear sets that they're doing different things. They have flowers, butterflies. The stack of books is just so fun. Also the balloons, that movement of the bear flying with the balloons just adds um, such fun and whimsy to your cards. And here is that bear. Again, I followed that card sketch. Just made it really fun to decide what to do within that circle and how to add the teddy bears to that. These um, two main stamps on this set, set Blissful Bears, are very charming, very light, fresh, like a storybook quality to them. And if you look at these sets with the bears and the critters, you might want to hit pause too and check out the sentiments. There's some really nice sentiments included on those sets and I just especially love that. I kept these cards very simple, just some water coloring. On this one I've popped it up just a little bit and added some die cutting in the background. We also have 30-957 Daddy Bear. and I combined him with that Spring Emerges stamp in the background there and some cloud dies. And finally we have 30-970 Ventures. These guys are so cute and I really like all the little different adventures they're taking with each other and the ones with the books. I just thought those were really fun. They had some great sentiments with them. Here I've put it with our U die and then I focused on those book ones because I just loved how those um, were just so cute. I love things related to books. Um, and the sentiments there come with the set. You can also see I tucked in some of those new dies as a little embellishment, a touch of floral there. Next up we have some fresh fashion stamps. Now these stamps are illustrated by Ann Keenan Higgins. She's a super talented illustrator. I'm going to try and remember to put a link to her Instagram down below, but once you see it you'll be so inspired to use these stamps in the beautiful ways that she colors them. Um, this one is Thinking of You. I love this girl sitting on this chair. You can play around with all the different ways you want to color her clothes or the chair. Very, very fun. Here is just a very simple card with that stamp and you can see just by changing up your colors what a difference it makes. You can get lots and lots of uses out of this. This is 30-967 Hats Off. It's a miniature transparent set. Again, such great fun to play around with the colors. I, these are just really fun stamps and because the illustrations are so amazingly done, you don't have to do anything fancy with your coloring. Just a flat wash of different colors is all you need. We have Arrive in Style 40-839, a cling stamp. And here I've just done a very simple one layer card. And I look at that little dog in the basket. He's so cute. <laughs> and then finally, the same illustrator, Ann Keenan Higgins, also does these gorgeous florals. So I've included this here because she's the illustrator of this and it has that fun sort of fashion whimsical style. Comes with that sentiment. So it's really fun. Flowers and flowers and more flowers. It's my jam in the jam jar is too fun. But I also wanted to show you if you don't want to include the jam jar you can stamp these going off the edge and just use the floral portion as well. So again super super versatile. Now we haven't forgotten the fan favorites. So for this release we've pulled out um, from your fan favorites some wood block stamps. The first is 2304 F, seeing your face. Now these wood fan favorites are very limited in stock. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you're wanting to add these to your collection, now is the time. I've done a couple of cards with these each. Some where I fussy cut the image and layered them with some of our new dyes and sentiments and some just very, very simple cards stamped and watercolored and then one of our new sentiments with it. We also have 31.99J Poppy Fields. 
Oh my gosh, I love tucking this little hedgy into the U of that die cut word hug. There's so many different things you can do with these um, stamps. I've done three cards with this one actually. And then here, I love, because he's a little hedgy, I love pairing them up with our big floral dies. And so here he's peeking out underneath that new floral die. And again, just very simple, one of our new sentiments and watercoloring with that hedgy. This hedgy is also so adorable, 1436K Hedgehog Joy. And he certainly does look so joyful. I had to have him holding some of those daisies, so I went with a red color on them, and this is a very clean and simple card, but because the illustrations are so strong, the dyes are so strong, it works, I think. I think it just is really fun. And then again, just simple watercoloring with a new sentiment and our one of our border dyes there. Here is 1664 Squeeze Till I Squeak. I love that big flower on its own, but then those little mice underneath it are adorable. Here I've combined them with that watering can die and some of those flowers and leaves that come with the watering can. And then again, I just went very, very simple on this card and embellished with a couple of die cut butterflies. Finally, in our fan favorites, um, woodblock stamps, we have 1445K Partying. And I've made a couple of cards with this. For one, I cut just one of those little hedges and I stuck him in the boot, which I thought was just too fun. <laughs> and then, of course, added some floral dyes there. And then here is just a nearly one layer card with that entire woodblock stamp used on a standard size card. Now, we also have pulled out a few of our uh, fan favorite sentiment stamps this is better or worse and I've used them with our new floral stamps I love these woodblock sentiments even as something that you set out on your desk or you could give to someone as the stamp itself as an encouragement because the woodblock stamps are so beautiful I think on their own so if you have a crafty friend it might make a fun gift um, here I've used them with some of our new floral stamps on some simple one layer cards this one is nearly one layer it had a butterfly popped up this is within us. Again, you might want to hit pause if you want to be able to read that sentiment um, fully. They're just really beautiful sentiments. And I think on the wood block, it just elevates them even more. This is that exuberant stamp. It was on one of the bookmarks, and here you can see it on a full size card. And then we have a couple other. Um, fan favorite wood block sentiments. This is 3384 happiness. And then one more, which is 3383D Thanks. And this is really fun with flowers, I think, especially. I sure hope you've enjoyed today's video. I would love to know which stamps, which dies are your favorites that you've seen here. Leave us a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit like if you enjoyed this video. And hit that bell notification because I hope to have lots of how-to tutorials coming up you with these stamps and for some of these cards and you don't want to miss those. Thanks so much for watching.